I could use a little help. <laughs> yeah. How is it going, people? Day one, South Africa, let's go. I've not caught a fish yet. <clears throat> I did have to start over, but you're going to be surprised with the amount of work I got in before work this morning. I set my alarm for 5 o'clock, got my map downloaded, got my map opened up. I'm ready to fish. I'm excited. Let's hop in. What? Unable to sink. Don't give me that. What? It's 
going on here? I better not lose. I better not lose my stuff. Can't see people car struggling to climb or drive. How's it going, John Peach? I better not have lost everything. I'm gonna be upset. I did. <clears throat> Okay, looks like I'm looks like I'm where uh, where I left off. All right, let's welcome everybody in. Sorry, sorry, had a little uh, little scare just now. Had a had a had a little little scare just now. Let's see, let me see where everything unlocks. Everything looking good. Okay, looks like I've got everything. I've not caught a fish yet. Not one fish. I I did start over. I started over. All right, let's let's pick up. I've got yeah, looks like I've got everything. I've not picked up every one of these challenges though, but I can pick those up when we. I've got the map made for it, and you guys saw on uh, Discord, I've got the map for all the locations in there. All right. Yeah, I've seen some people having issues, and other people not having issues. So we'll see what happens. But uh, they're aware. And uh, hot fix is hopefully coming soon. John Peach, how's it going, buddy? Mop top, got a diamond eel with a number two and a minnow, and a diamond catfish with a number with a two alt liver. Let's go, mop top. And you know, I got to know where you caught them. Got to know where you caught them at, brother. But welcome in over on Twitch. Appreciate you, John Peach and Mop Top. Now let's go over to the YouTube, who we got. Dad's a psycho in the house, Mickey boy. Clay Drew, Ian McCarthy. Mix, sorry you're having all your issues, issues brother. Mix messaged me earlier today, was not having a good time. Sorry, sorry to hear that, man. Thunder Gunner, how's it going, brother? Um, Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's pick up some uh, fishing, some regular fishing challenges. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh, let's, get, let's get some big ones here. Get some big ones. <coughs> ah. Let's get that one. Let's get any two. Let's do the any. Any four. That'll work. That'll work for the dailies. How did it keep my weekly? How did it? How did it keep my weekly challenge progress? I am confused. What? You can clearly see I've not caught a fish. It somehow saved my weekly. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's pick us something out to do. Official Dolan, how's it going, brother? You know, I like to kind of do a bunch of things at one time. Let's see. Can we get, okay, what is it? Cooking with gas is easy. Catch a bronze rank or higher fish with the gear requirements. Use a <clears throat> float fishing rig. Okay, let's pick this one out with for a float fish. Gear challenge, spinning, spinning, spinning. Just find us something here. Bottom fishing. Gra grass carp. All right. Where's that one at? 
Let's go. Let's go. Gotta go catch it. Gotta go catch it. <clears throat> Already got 70 pound diamond sharp tooth. This game is broken. Mix, I'm sorry, buddy, that you're having such. You know, someone told me that right here is where that carper was. I'm going to go pick that up real quick. Because I just got to see it. Because I've walked by it so many times. Because I thought to myself, I said, you know, I see the sign right now. I walked by and looked. And I was like, I don't see any signs. Daggone it. There it is. There it is, boys. Is that a float fishing one? The red breast carper? Float fishing rig. Let's just do that one. Let's just do that one then. Let's do that one right here. Yeah. Let's do it. What, what we got? Red breast carper. Bread. Bread bloodworm hot dog. Gear challenge, gear challenge. Red breast carper. Two pound line. I don't have it on me. You know what? I just want to catch a fish. Let's go. Here, let's, let's go put that on there. Let's do it. Let's go. <clears throat> We throw a line in and we'll say hi to everybody. Let's see what everybody's into. Right. You've caught three goats, Mickey boy. Your favorite fish. I love the tiger fish. That's what I'm hoping that we do for Tackle Tuesday uh, next week. You going for the grass cart? Little dude, R. Lewis. How's it going, brother? You're going to have to show me where all these fish are, Darth. Well, here's a start, brother. Oh, wrong one. Right there. They are, uh, it's already in the Discord. If you look under fishing chat all the way at the bottom, I put this map in there for everybody already. Oops. I almost missed that one. Juvenile Blue Kerper, let's go. Not what I was after. Anyway, let's uh, I'm gonna hop in mod chat. Check, check. There we go. All right. Uh oh, here we go. I'm in mod chat, Dad. You wanna hop in? Uh oh. What's this? This one's a little. There's Dad's a psycho. I see him over there. What's up, Alex? There's a bronze blue carper. What's a good spot for purple labeo? Uh, right. Right here, actually. This area right here is, I caught like three gold purple labeo right through here. And you can go to that fast travel point right there and just walk down and fish that river right there. <clears throat> What's up, Alex? We don't have any hook charts or anything. Right? Right? Surely the goodness not. What? Wilson's already Wilson's already got a hook hook chart up? Are you kidding? 
Wheels. Wheels. Air brass carper. Howdy, howdy. How's it going, buddy? Uh, better than it's been, that's for sure. The catfish can get up to 77 pounds. Sweet. There's a red breast carper, bronze. Red bronze, Jane. Yeah, I like those catfish, man. Yeah. They're good looking fish, too, if you really look at them in the catch screen, you know. Did I not get a gear challenge? Oh, no, I didn't. Dang it. Chicken with gas. Find the lost knife. That's what I got to do. Where's that thing at? Oh. Oh, it's easy. Oh, it's over here. All right. It's settled in here. There's a few of these location challenges I've not picked up yet because I was just unlocking the map. And the loss is it getting ready to get dark. Now, don't make me catfish now, which I guess you can catch them. I guess you can catch them uh, there in the middle of the day and everything. I was at least on, yeah. at least on that build. Is it been that way over here on this build? Yeah. What's up, G man? Yeah, I forgot about my dental appointment. Not dental appointment. Vision appointment. So there I was, like. Trying my best to get home so I could stream this and play this. And then I had to cook when I got home because my wife's gone to a track meet, so I had to cook something for me and my son. Which she had, well, all I had to do was <laughs> mashed potatoes and bread. Canary Carper, boys. Get you a little Canary Carper. Okay. Found the lost knife. Oh, you know what? Seems like I found it once already. Can't remember where it was, but somewhere over through here. There it is. That's what I'm going to do is try to like Yeet, Stone Cold Gaming, how you doing, bud? I'm going to try to, like, pick out some of these, the main story missions that I can do while catching fish. You know what I mean? Finally, a daytime server. There you go. What I got to do now, check out the... Well, daggone, boys. Is that one of my fishing location spots? There's not a location there. There he is right here, though. Right there. Look at that, boys. Where'd it drop my boat? That boat was already there. This is my boat. <clears throat> Someone just caught a dime eel in my games. Nice. Caden B, this is South Africa, the new map that came out today, brother. So I guess even if you don't have South Africa, you can join on me and play it if you want.
I can't believe there's not a fishing location here. Why did it put me out here, boys? Yeah, you want. Hey, gotta use that float. There it is. Use the float fishing rig to catch a silver or higher fish with the gear requirements. Silver or higher, boys. Does it matter where I catch it at? I don't think it matters, does it? Not for those. I've, I've, I've done all of these missions. I'm having yeah. to do them again. <laughs> Which I think oh, Flinner life. said, I believe it was Flinner, said that uh, he put the file in and it worked. But I didn't want to take that chance this morning. I had two hours before work and I got it downloaded. And I said, you know what? I bet in that two hours I can just go ahead and have it unlocked. And I did. So, but I think Flinner tried it and it actually worked. I could have just took the file from my, the devs weren't sure if that would work or not. And Flinner just made a copy, I think, of his normal save because he had some dimes and stuff he didn't want to uh, lose. And uh, and it worked for him. So. Grass cart location challenge two. Float fishing rig. You know what? I feel like grass carp. Silver rank higher fish. A 27.56 pound line. Challenge. Accept. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe the challenge isn't accepted. I know I've got 27 pound line somewhere, boys. I have it on me. That's all right. We we'll just catch it. So, grass carp, how big? Of a hook, are we talking here? Oh, so this hook chart don't say the sizes on it. The bait chart. Wait a minute. Hook chart. Huh. So there is no hook chart yet. Uh, let's try, I'm just going to throw a six on there and see what happens. Seems like I've seen a few of those caught today that were in the mid twenties. A grass carp? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Hook size, I can't advise on that one too early for me yet. Gotcha, gotcha. No, size five with dough. Ooh, ooh. Size five with dough works good. Well, I got a six right now. We'll see what happens. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize that was still on the screen. Sorry about that. 
Oops. Pro stream, guys. Pro stream. <laughs> oh, this is not. This cannot be a carp. That's a moggle. It's the babyest carp. All right. We're going to a five. Told you all five dough, you wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> size one is good for grass. Size one, size five, size six. Size five, size six. Size 11 teen. 11 teen. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I caught my 55 pound dime. Well, congratulations on that. 55 pound diamond grass carp. Got that big. Sweet action. There's a bronze grass carp. I'm going to squeeze on down to a, a three. <clears throat> Eleventeen alt marshmallow. There we go. Now you're picking up what I'm laying down. They get massive. The grass cart sounds like they get bigger than the mirror carts. McChugs, what's up? My catch rate, buddy. Look at that. I've caught a grand total of four fish. See my name in your friends list? I don't, but it says I have you added. Caden, you delete me and block me seven times a day. <laughs> He's worse than I am. <laughs> <clears throat> What was your name again? I know it's not Caden. What is it? Aren't you like base spy cakes or something? I should memorize it by now. I have to accept him every day. <clears throat> Where's it at? I don't see it, man. No, it says I have you added already. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it don't say Darth Sloan. It says like player blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'm, I've heard there are still some server issues. Sad. Sad face. What's up, yeah. Scorpio? How you doing, bud? R. Lewis with the first top five submission. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. R. Lewis <laughs> just closes his eyes for minutes at a time. When he gets hungry, he bites the top of a fish off that's laying like next to him. And then he goes right back to fishing. <clears throat> Man. We're not doing Tackle Tuesday today because some of them, um, a lot of the Tackle Tuesday people um didn't get early access so it wouldn't be fair like they just got the map today so it wouldn't be fair if we did tackle tuesday you know it wouldn't be fair to them so we're going to give everybody a week to get used to the map and then everybody's going to kind of pick i'm hoping it's tiger fish but everybody's going to kind of pick a dude i just want a silver grass cart did I go up too high?
You don't hear my boat, do you? Nope. Um, What's that, Jaden? Good spot for Tiger. This is? Well, all I've ever done is grass carp fish here, so. Yeah, McChugs, I'm hoping that we're going to do tiger fish. Send me your apex in it. Wait, I mean, where's, where's is one? Huh? Where's what? What I mean? Tiger fish? Where's tiger fish? Oh, this whole lake up here is good for tiger fish, but right here's where diamonds have been caught. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add that little marker right there. That's where diamonds have been caught, that dark spot? Yeah, right there is where Flinter caught his. Okay. I was actually there for a while today, man. I couldn't get anything better than the silver, though. I caught a bunch of goats there. I, I've been hearing that all day. I've been catching some giant silvers, but yeah. I still haven't gotten a gold. And then uh, right here... All tiger fishing. ...is diamond catfish spot. Yeah, I got a 52 pound gold there earlier today. Why is my grass cart not biting? Banana bridge for what? Oh, here, like where? Just anywhere through here? R. Lewis? Uh -huh. can, can you fish off the bridge? Yeah, I've seen people fishing off that bridge. I've actually sat underneath them when they fished over the top of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? <laughs> I'm trying to get in my boat. I just keep falling in the water. <laughs> yeah, some of them are a little bit too far away from the dock. <laughs> Yeah, three times in a row I just fell in the water trying to jump into my boat. Why can't I catch this carp? I didn't have trouble catching it like before. Caught a 9.4 kg lake trout. Hey, is that a diamond? I don't know how to convert kg to pounds. Any tips on Red Nose LaBelle location challenge too, Darth? Like, do you need to know where it's at? Oh, you can't catch one. I've not, uh, I've not fished for them. 
Yeah. Hello? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it's my turn to block uh, base spy cakes. <laughs> Was that him? Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at the screen and saw that face like right there. <laughs> I've moved, but it still shows I'm there. That's what they all say. Try it where all the ponds, big ponds are, and the... One second, closest to the top is a good spot. So that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Like, right, that's what I did on the early access is I just did this and I caught it. But now, it just, there's no grass carp here now. Or something i didn't even notice are they a day or nighttime fish or what oh oops Does, no uh... not matter okay yeah that's where that's where i got it in early access too right where i just cast it but for some reason it's not wanting to buy it Oh, where it's a challenge fish, it should be biting here anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Four hook doe. Four and pearl barley. just feels good man feels good to be to be doing this feels good uh oh here we go ghoulish wonder yeah the dare drops i read about those so i'm not sure how they work does anybody anybody know about the dare drops I think we've got our silver. What do you think? We got the goods cooking with gas. All right, so I'm wanting to do. I want to get these done. Catch a silver rank or higher fish with the gear requirements. Use a bottom fishing rig. I know what I'm doing. You know where I'm going. Y'all know where I'm going. It's catfish time, baby. 
No, oh, somebody just caught a red nose uh, diamond. Uh oh, we gotta find out where that's at. Yeah, I, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Who was it? Uh, it was uh, G. Nimig. All right. Uh, that would be. Where is this person? Right there. Right here. So, right there. I'm going to put a marker right there. Red nose Labeo, right? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Red nose Labeo, right there. You can summon a boat there, but you have to hoof it all the way down there. Um, oh, it's, yeah. That sucks. It sucks getting. Once you down there. Yeah. yeah. That's a good river, man. That's a really good river. Yep. All right. That's an eel spot, too. Nice. I clicked the link on the Steam update. But it seems to be more for content creators. I, I've not even looked at it. I've not even looked at it. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to fish for catfish. Man. One of these days. One of these days, I'll make some sense. Yep, yeah, that is. I knew I hoofed it down there because I flipped my boat. Because <laughs> I tried to get a boat down there and it's rough. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I ended up hoofing it down there. <laughs> but if I had had to make a suggestion about something I would have done on this map a little differently. This river, which I don't have it all unlocked yet, but like there's a boat valet there there's a boat valet there and then there's one way over here somewhere um there's no fast travel points like it's hard to get a boat down this right here too even a john boat so even if you fast travel there and summon a boat there it's tough to get it down right there so i would have at least just to make life a little easier i would have put a boat valet right here that way, when you walk down from here, you could summon the boat there. <clears throat> There's a fast travel there? There wasn't in my build, in my creator build, there wasn't one there. Oh, that, right make, there, there that makes life a lot easier then. In my creator build, there was not a fast travel point there. Where they just got that diamond? Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a spot right there. Yeah, because me and CJO and uh, somebody else were talking about how rough it is to fish this side of the map. So they did put a fast travel point there. Nice. Yeah. Maybe I missed it, but how do you summon the boat or the car? Right here. Just like that right there. You go up to the sign. That's a boat one. And there's one that'll have like a Jeep on it. Uh, Gallish Wonder, thanks so much for that follow over on Twitch. The starting dock I saw, three players catch Dime Canary Carper. What, the starting dock? Like right here? This dock right here? Canary Carper? Yeah. Mm. It sucked having to point of interest, freaky spot. Freaky, freaky. Yep. Well, 
Yorkie, how's it going, bud? Well, I'll be daggone, boys. Go in the right there. Get us a little, little fishy fish. You're talking about the canary carpers right there at that one spot? Yeah, at that first dock. Pretty sure that's where I've seen somebody catch one there, too. Now, I'm going to do a long stream. My wife is gone to a track meet because she's still helping coach track. I'm not coaching this year. So she's at a track meet, and I'm like, okay, I think I could find something to do tonight. So at some point, we'll probably, we might hop in with the, with the uh, ta other Tackle Tuesday dudes. What are the hook sizes for the catfish? I don't really know yet. Like when I clicked on the hook chart earlier, it popped up and said, say the magic word or something. And it wasn't ever there. So I, I caught my gold on a two aught. Yeah. And everything below that was a bunch of big silvers on the one aught. Mm. I was thinking somewhere around through there. I would have thought that you could catch silvers on a two aught though. But you might be able to. It might have just been a coincidence. Well, R. Lewis I says two odd is golden up. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should switch to. I might need to switch to minnow, but we'll see what happens. Not having any luck right now. I think I'm gonna come out there and join you. Let me know if my boat drives you crazy. Oh, never mind. I didn't this hear it. Kicked. I didn't hear it earlier. Yeah, game just blows down on me. I don't think it's just you either, because I saw base spy cakes left the reserve as well. So I think a lot of people's getting kicked right now. Firebird left to reserve. Yeah. I think it just decides to kick people at random times. I guess I've been fortunate. That's only like my third time today, maybe fourth time today that I've gotten the game closed down on me. Yeah. I'd like to get these main storyline missions out of the way. Be nice. Yeah, I still got to get the uh, gold with the spinning rig. That's what I've been trying to catch that tiger. But man, I have been struggling to get that tiger. Tiger what? The, uh, uh, what is it? The tiger fish? The... That's, that's what, oh, with the uh, spinning rig. Yeah, like with the copper yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been man. I got. I caught. Still, I caught probably four or five of those goads. I. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I was using frog and popper. <clears throat> Here we go. Crash earlier said the same thing. He said he got like four golds in a row, with like a, a number three, spinner or something like that. And man, I just have not been able to get it. Hmm. This could be a twenty-eight pound catfish. Uh-oh, I think the time just up and changed. Someone asked about temperature for tiger fish. It was around, uh, Flinter's tiger diamond was 75 degrees when he caught his. But now that's just one number. We don't know where the bottom, top, middle. I don't know. You know, I don't know where that falls on the temperature range. Still too early to know all that stuff, so just keep track of it when you catch them so we can put that info together. Oh. 21-pounder. Hey, do you have this issue going on for you? Do you have to turn it on multiplayer every time you turn on the game now? 
I don't know. Because every time I start the game up, it's got me off multiplayer. I have to turn it on before I can join in anything. Huh. And it never used to do that. Akuna Matata. What I have to do now? Hmm. Go to the location that Freaky has marked on your. Taking the spear, search for Andy's gift. Oh, okay, R. Lewis. I didn't know. Yeah, I, all day I've had to do that. for Andy's gift why is it not showing me where to go did I not track it yeah I'm tracking it I completed this. Where's it at? Oh, right there. No wonder I wasn't going up high enough. All right, I'm going to get this. Get on whatever ne the next stage is. My diamond is 67.71 pounds. Caught a diamond curper that big? Oh, my God. What diamond are you talking about, Mop Talk? What you get, bud? Catfish? Ooh. That's a big one. That's that's like 10 pounds bigger than... Uh, um, uh, DJOs. Catch a silver rank or higher fish with the air requirement. Use the spinning rig. Use the... In, in, Gemento real? I bet I don't. I bet I have to go to the shop and get it. Just pull your truck up. Isn't there a spot right there? Tag on it. You're a genius. <laughs> that is convenient having that. It really is. <laughs> well, I guess it really didn't save me too much time since I had to walk down here to my truck. Oh, wow. Well. But in most circumstances, it does save you a bunch of time. Hey! Oh, I didn't summon my truck yet. <laughs> so you can't steal gear out of other people's trucks. Or Jeeps. <laughs> All right. Real. We're having some real fun. <laughs> that up real that little thing up tandem apex what bottom feeder rod do you use for sharp tooth catfish it's the one that you get off spain in the local souvenir shop because it's like you can put like 60 something pound line on it it's a good one and thanks so much for the compliments there's the Mr. Roboto, come on in Gumamanto, Mr. Roboto. Yeah, I bet you that. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Let's see. Lines. Cramp. Let's put that up. 27 pound line. I need. Yeah, it's like 27.56 or something like that. Well, I tell you what, they made this map dark at night. Uh, they're working on the lighting. Because, I mean, <laughs> you can barely see your pole. <laughs> Where's my 27 pound line at? Oh, I bet it's over here. 
There it is. Oh, wait. Got the wrong. 27 pound line. Uh, what am I fishing for, by the way? I thought you were going for catfish, but I guess you changed that. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Now, well, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get these missions done. Uh, oh. There's a bottom fishing rig. This one is a spinning rig. Yeah. Oh, spinning rig. Oops. But you got to use their the pole they supplied and the reel that they supply. This is to get the pole. Oh, well, maybe it's the reel because there's one you have to use their bobber also when you do a float fish thing. There's a bobber they give you you got to use too. What am I doing right now? Oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, spinning or spin. Okay. Oh, I got to do it over here. What the crap? Did I not get the reel? It was part of that gift package thing you had to find. All right, there it is. There's the reel. It's a spinning yeah. reel. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Why can I not put it on this rod? No, it's, it's, I'm telling you, there's, there's a rod that they give you that you have to put it on. I didn't have to in the creator build, but no, no, because it made me do that because I couldn't put it on anything else either. And I put it on that and it finally let me do it. Okay. But that's how you get, I'm trying to get the rod. I don't have the rod yet. This is how you get the rod. I can't put it on the rod. I don't have it. I have to use the reel. You see what I'm saying? I have to use that reel. Like, use a spinning rig. Use the Ingamuntu reel. Okay, but I can't equip the reel on anything. Why does it not let me equip the reel? Let me see. First one is a gas You got me. I'm trying to remember. I'm looking at my list of things I had to do. Use a spinning rig. Use the reel. Right on a different rod. Okay. Okay. It'll let me put it on that one. But that doesn't make sense, though. Because max line strength is only 27 pounds on that one. I think that's what the rod is, too. Yeah. The Ubuntu rod. Yeah, but... I don't, I don't have the rod. This, this is see that yeah, taking no, the spear. That's how you get it. So I don't, I could, I don't yeah. have it too put it on. I'm going to have to find a better spinning. Oh, I was putting it on a bait caster. Yeah. Okay. Cause I swear it's there too. That's <laughs> someone, someone told me that and it just didn't click. Yeah. Um, God. 
I can't put it on a bank that? caster. What was I thinking? Okay, I need a 27 pound max strength. I might put it on that Capiton. Here, let's just put it on that. Golly, boys. It's been a long day. <laughs> Ooh, I know what I'm going for. <laughs> I know what I'm going for. Here, Froggy Poo. Where you at here? Let's go. Let's go. Little tiger action? Uh-huh. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do still. Still can't catch nothing but a silver. <laughs> well, I might actually go right there and try it right there under this bridge. <sighs> okay. Sorry. So, so, what? Crash? Gone it. I just crashed. Yep, it's time to go catch some tiger fish, boys. Tell you what. We're getting there. We are getting there. Looks like Caden just entered my reserve. It said I was in the water, but got a morning. That's where I fell in the water. Yeah, it puts yep. that boat just a little bit too far away, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Three times I went in. <laughs> How big of the largemouth yellow? Uh, Thirty something. They're pretty, pretty big. I like them. I like them a lot. What number did I set that monstrosity up as? Uh, number three. Oh, you know what? I don't think size four is what we need to be using. Where's my green frog? Build anymore. Crap. I don't have my poppers or nothing. Well, we'll try this frog for a minute. Heck, on it went jet black here. I did that this morning, Torok. I, I picked up everything, and I said, now I can fish when I get home from work, baby. I set my alarm for 5 o'clock this morning, and before I went to work, I had everything good to go. So it did release for you for 5 a.m. Eastern? Uh, I got the email with my my stream key. Was it live for you guys on Steam or on the uh, Xbox store or PlayStation store at 5 a.m.? Uh, I didn't get up that early. What time were you all able to buy it today? 
I mean, as soon as I got up at 6 a.m. Central, it was it was there. You've been sick for the past three days? Oh, no. You were able to get it at 6 a.m.? Yeah, Central. I, I mean, that's when I woke up this morning. I had it. I feel like I got it around six, but I got up at five and made coffee and all that stuff. Uh oh. I hear a boat or something. I hear something. There's a silver tiger fish. Oh my God, make it stop. What does that sound? Peach. I hear peaches. So they don't have the boat stuff fixed. Catch a go with the gear requirements. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go over here. I got to get away from that sound, guys. Five fifty. I don't know. I got, I got an email with the steam key and put it in there and I had it downloaded. I know I was probably playing around six, so maybe before six. Although I feel like there was an update though first I can't remember I'm not going anywhere in that boat, Mickey. The only reason I summoned it was to <laughs> get to my uh, stuff, my lures. Get of that. Oh, I don't have a three frog. Oh. I do have a three popper though. Oh well, shoot. Time is it? Four forty one. Use a spinning rig. Having issues adding my kid as a friend. Anyone else have the same problem? Hmm. You will, Vince. It. It's just... Um, if there's smaller ones around, you're going to have to wade through all of them. You got lucky and cast it close to a... to a gold. 
and it be it. I found the number three popper and the number three frog to be really good for these. Now, what am I using? Just need to find five more location challenges. Or Torok, I mean, they're in my Discord, but I already got the map made. Oh my God. Mickey, your boat. I have to go to single player, I think. <laughs> they got to get that fixed soon. Yeah. Try to find them first before I look at it. Some of them are a little tricky. I'm having a hard time trying to get this silver spotted bass at the dock in front of you. Man, what was I burning them up on the other day? A number five? Wasn't it a number five pauper? told you it was that boat and you blamed me i don't care whose boat it was <laughs> i know it ain't your all's fault sorry somebody's boat i think it was a five popper i kept catching those spotted bass on The silver. And I caught a bunch of golds, too. That was last night, actually. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I'm using that 27-pound line. Hello, Techno Viking. How you doing, bud? What's up, Ryder? Hatchimus Prime, what is up? Doing that karate in the garage. Thank you, thank you. There's a silver. Got to catch a gold rank. Oh. oh, you fried your GPU and your CPU.
Yeah, see you and hear you, Caden. I was really hoping all these multiplayer issues would be fixed when this came out. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what they actually did fix, because they said they had some fix, you know, for this patch, but so far... Same issues, ain't it? Seems like it. Tried adding you as a friend. Scorpio. Oh, you got it? Good. Is it the Scorpio 79? Yeah. Got you, bud. Starting to turn daylight. Got a good early morning server. I'm going to end up hooking into one here in a minute, and it's going to be a diamond or something. That I won't be able to get it on this line. How big do these dimes get for the tigers? What the crap? As soon as it bit, I crashed. As soon as it bit. You see that? I got a strike and it, it crashed. That was my diamond. That's my diamond. Tell you what, I'm I'm going to go do single player. Bad as I hate to. I don't know if you want to hassle with it or not, but I'm on an early morning server. If you join me set your time and then kick yourself back to the single player to be at the right time for you. Ah, I'll just try this. This is uh known. It'll work. Three. We'll see if I crash in solo player or not. I imagine it's just a multiplayer issue. That's like the third or fourth time I've crashed today. But I want to see if it happens in multi in single player too. That was the one. Diamond. <laughs> if it was a diamond, I wouldn't have got it in on this line. <laughs> 27 pound line probably would have ate me up 
How big? How big was the dime that somebody caught for a tiger? Lancer got a thirty-three pound dime. I, I should be able to get a thirty-three pound in on a twenty-seven pound line. Okay. I wasn't one hundred percent sure on how big they got. I've been in single player since release. Haven't crashed once. I got you. I was about to say R. Lewis has probably been single player the whole time. I just hate it that we can't play together. Yeah. I mean. I mean, how much longer? Right at the point of the game. <laughs> Hopefully this gets like, I mean, it needs to be fixed this week. We want it fixed now. Right now. And the thing that sucks about playing in single player too, especially on a new map, is like there earlier we saw someone catch a diamond. So I was able to tell where they caught it at. So especially right. especially when a map first comes out, it's really important to be in multiplayer so you can watch those things. That's how you learn where to catch all the big fish. Now, I'm not able to see where people are catching stuff. At right, Yorkie, that's that's sad too, is you got all the new players playing. And I just hope a lot of them don't get a bad first impression of the game and never come back to it now. You know what I mean? I did Torok, yeah. Uh some I had a couple different people message me in Discord about it. I can't believe I didn't see it. Oh, you know what just hit me? Check this out, guys. I don't have a three frog on me, which is what I'm wanting to fish with. This right here is amazing. I'm going to go buy me one and then just fast travel back to my boat. Yeah. That is sweet. That's sweet right there, boys. Because I forgot I was on my other build when I... See, I remember now I had to go and buy the frog because I'd never bought it. The size three frog. Yep. Oh, yep. All right. Must have had that on me. Huh. Well, I didn't realize I had that on me. Anywho. Just gonna fast travel back to my boat right here, you know. That is <laughs> sweet. That that that's pretty sweet. I feel like I jerked the wrong Poe out. I did. Let's go to that three frog. There it is. I think during the middle of the day they bite on that three frog. Um better. When it starts getting lighter in the evening, they go to the popper. I believe. I could be wrong. Yep, there it is. So the three frog during the day is good. The three popper is good. Actually, you know what? Three might be bronze still. I might need to go to a two. I bet you I didn't even bring it. 
you can't you can't do the storage in the boat. There was a misunderstanding there. The Jeep is the only one that lets you do the storage. Unfortunately. Go. Been using Minnow and the Tigers are taking. I've had no luck with the Popper. I've yet to try the Frog. I love the Frog, man. Number three Frog right, right here in this spot. Or at least I did on the early access. And then when it gets lighter in the day, I'd switch to the Popper. Now, the good thing about using the five Popper is you'll start catching some spotted bass too with it. Matter of fact, I did have to start over, man. Well, Flinter switched some files around, I think, and was able to start. He was able to start. Uh, uh, where he left off so he wouldn't lose his diamond. The worry is the devs don't know if that is a good long term, like if it will last long term or not, or if it'll end up messing the file up. So he said he's just going to do some random copying his save file at random points. You know what? That that This is exactly where I was catching that. Of spotted bass. Where's that five popper? I better have it on me. There it is. Right. Popper, five popper. Yep. Here we go. Now I should get spotted bass and tiger fish with this number five popper. I see one right there. Were you at north of the banana bridge? Nope. I'm at the tiger fish diamond spot. The date water. Oh. The date water spot. It's a really good spotted bass spot. I caught a bunch of oh, golds okay. here. Well, that's where I'm at right now. I caught a bunch of gold spotted uh, bass here as well. I think this is a spotted bass right now. Yep. Okay. Did not know that. Put your five popper on, throw it out there, and you'll catch tiger fish and spotted bass here. And the occasional uh, yellowfish. I think I caught a smallmouth yellowfish here. Here, fishy, fishy. I think I'm going to put a big fan since I don't have the five with me. Mm, I bet this is a tiger fish.
Yeah, I'd like to do this and complete this and then go go to freaky spot. Then we just got to work on our peanut butters. Also known as personal best. Which right now in most cases is Nilch or uh, Bronze. Caught one juvenile something. What was that juvenile I caught? Blue Kerper? Oh yeah, over in the farm. Yeah. Fish farm. Freaky freaky. Take a break here in a second and go put some coffee on because I'm setting up setting up some tonight. Turn my fan on. We'll stream till I don't know. 10, 11 o'clock. Maybe. I normally stream late on Tuesdays anyway, so why not? You know. You still gonna try to join those guys? I might, yeah, I might, I might join them about nine, about an hour, if they're if they're in a in a party chat together. <clears throat> it's eight p.m. Eastern for me right now. Yeah, I'm Central. Oh, right there. Right there. Spotted bass. Come here. I saw you. Don't act like you ain't there. I, oh, shoot. Look at that thing. That looks huge mungus. Uh-oh. Come on. That one's not near as big. I got one hanging out under the boat here that's big, guys. That's at least a gold. I got to catch that thing. Y'all see it? It's big, wasn't it? Yeah, I saw one swim up look pretty big. Yeah, I'm going to have to. We'll do some shorter casts, try to get him to. Come back, baby, come back. That's not him. That might be a nice spotted bass, though. That's a five pound spotted bass. That's a nice one. I know at five something they go gold. I got to get that thing. That that's got me excited. That that's I want to catch that big tiger fish we saw under the boat. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna slow it down right here. Where did you go, sir? That was a big tiger fish. Dang on it. Oh. I know, but I'm trying to get this challenge. See, you got to catch it on a spinning rig. So I'm trying to get it to bite on it. So I can do this, uh, get this mission done. And I'm pretty sure it's a gold.
<laughs> I've been trying to get that gold thing taken care of all day, man, and I still haven't gotten it. Well, this, this is a goat if I can just get him to bite on it. But if you come right here, you'll catch a goat spotted bass, too. Right here. What is this? Oh, it's tiger fish. Bring him up with the minnow and then use your... Ooh, that's a good point. Come on, big guy. Is that him? That's not him, is it? I don't look like him. Yeah, it's just a it's not him. Yeah, I'm at the I'm at the tiger spot, the I've been. I've caught several goads. I figured you could catch one here because I caught several goads here. Oh, actually, I just I just caught a silver on that, didn't I? This guy's huge, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bigger hook on. Let's go with the one. Let's try to see if we can get that guy. Is that him? I just scared him off. All right, who just raided? So Ingway's raiding. Thank you so much, Ingway. Appreciate it. That cash scared him off. Oh my god. Baby, come back. Get you a dime grass cart. Try to get me a great one canary carper. That'd be a three pounder. <laughs> Come on. Bite me. Hey, that one that I scared off because I cast the lure on top of its head, will it come back, you think? I, it seems like it will, because, I mean, as long as you don't, you know, quick strike it or whatever, it should come back. All right, Ingway. Thank you, bud. You have a good one. It may take a few casts. Going to H M I Grass Carp. What? Going to herd manage your grass carp? Teach me how to herd manage on this game. Cat, tiger, spotted, or largemouth yellow. Yes. All of the above. Yeah. Sure. Three of each. <laughs> Come here. 
bite my bobber or bite my bait. Here's something a little bigger. Just got home from work. Time to fish on the new map. That's what I'm talking about, DJ. No for legendaries. What are you talking about? What? What am I missing here? What? No for what for legendaries? What? Huh? Uh oh. Oh shoot! What do I do? What do I do? Okay. Ooh. Uh. Does that scare it off? Like what? When I brought it up with the. What was I supposed to do there without scaring it off? Just let it bite until it goes away. That's what I did. But now it, it acted like it scared it off. Did it really? Huh. I always thought you could just let them bite and then they'll just go away and come back a little bit later. I don't know, but I like the... I like that spotted bass I just saw too, so. I said all those fish for legs, for legs. You're giving me a headache. <laughs> Uh, it swam off this way. You know if anyone has caught a goat or bigger yet? DJ, yes. Uncle Bones, how's it going? Yeah, I know uh, CJO caught a diamond. Somebody in here caught a diamond. That looks, that looks, that looks juicy. Yeah, that, that looks juicy. I don't know if it's as juicy as that other one, but. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a juicy one or not. Oh, which taking us out at 50. 50% drag. Big male. Well, he's going to seem bigger than he is because I'm only using a 27 pound line. Seventy four pound dime catfish. That does not surprise me. He's like the fish whisperer. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty big. Be a gold. Yeah, baby. There's that mission done. Are you kidding me? Nope. <laughs> Five popper. Unbelievable. Taking the spear. I must have the worst luck, if I tell you. Not been able to get a gold on this rod and reel. <laughs> that should have been a gear challenge, too. What? Oh. I used a 27 pound line. Why is it not? Why did it not? Oh. I have to use a 15 pound? Screw that. I'm not doing that right now. Let's go for right. All right, it's time to go to freaky spot. Freak, freaky. Right there. Wow, 
fight. Isn't there a, a, a fish challenge here? Yep. And down there. Already right, got this fish challenge here. Where's the fish challenge at? Hey, boys. Uh -huh. Oh, I've already picked it up. Come on in. Should I try to do the missions? Nope. Never. Don't ever do them. Says the guy doing them right now. <laughs> what I like about the spot I was just at is if you put that five popper on, you can catch a gold. Usually you can catch a gold spotted bass there. I didn't get one that time, but I was burning them up yesterday. So you'll either catch a gold spotted bass or a gold um, tiger fish. Yeah. Unless your name sounds like Ads a Psycho. <laughs> Unless your name rhymes with, if your name rhymes with Ads a Psycho, you might struggle with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny is I got all of those missions done earlier today, except for this one, and I still haven't gotten that gold with that spinning rig. <laughs> the rest of them I got early this morning. I mean, it didn't take no time, really. <clears throat> I got to get my jabs in when I can, Dad, because, like, in a week, you'll have, like, 17 diamonds of each. So what time I've got you down, I'm going to kick you a little bit. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> They're fishings. <laughs> I think, though, that you will accidentally complete missions, though, by catching diamonds. So, whether you want to complete the mission or not, you're kind of going to catch it anyway, or get it anyway. Oh, my God. I just about went off that cliff right there. It's a little thick here in the bush. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, we got spoiled through. on Spain. Yeah. Ooh. On Spain, you could drive through trees and everything. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times today I've gotten stuck with that Jeep. Had to hike forever. No fast travel location. Yeah, you can literally stop driving and just fast travel to it now. Can you summon a boat there? Yeah. You know, I think what it is, is it doesn't put the boat valet thing on your map, so I didn't think you could summon a boat there. Or maybe it just didn't put it on my build. What is that up there? Nice little waterfall area. I bet you can catch a diamond at that waterfall. I bet you can. A diamond of something at that waterfall. What is this iron stuff? Catch a go drink or higher fish. Use a bottom fishing rig. Is that it? Does it matter? Do I have to catch it like right here, or does it matter? That those missions, you don't. It don't matter. Well, you know what I'm going to go fish for, bottom fishing. 
Yeah, that's what I did. I, I caught my, my gold uh, catfish in that main lake where you catch them all. I'm thinking right now I'm going to do that. Yeah, you just had to travel down there to open that up, but that's it. Oh, or we could go for an African modeled eel. I'm not doing that right now. You know what? I want to catch the freaking catfish. Wait a minute. What's this? Have we not picked that up yet? We have not. The yellow fish. What are. Being an egg. Being an egg. Spinning. Spinning. Okay. Okay. It's catfish time. That's just all there is to it. Eel. DJ, I've had trouble getting the eel to bite during the daytime, though. This catfish, I've not. The catfish has bitten during the daytime, but the eel, I cannot. Has anybody else been able to catch eel during the daytime consistently here? R. Lewis, you still in here? I didn't get consistently, but I did catch one. I mean, you'll catch one occasionally, but it seems like these catfish just keep biting, you know? Yeah. Uh-oh, I just jinxed myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here, get in line, and get let it, let it settle in. Go put my coffee on, and then we'll come back and we'll catch us some some catfish. All right, I'll be right back. What does this button do?
All right, we are back. Time to fish on, baby. <laughs> 60 pound line. Yeah, we ain't messing around this time. We ain't messing around. Put out there. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that challenge that's up there. <laughs> I'm using 60 pound line. Um,. I'm doing the rising with the sun challenge is what I'm doing. Rocky the fat cat. How's it going, bud? That's my be right back screen. Yeah, that's my... One of them was my wife, and the other ones were my lovers. <laughs> Except for Chris Hemsworth, who was my he, he's my uh, my bromance. <laughs> Glad you clarified that. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Did you notice how Chris Hemsworth gets like half a second in the Scarlett Johansson gets like a full five seconds. And <laughs> <clears throat> I was telling my wife about it, and I was like, I'll make it fair. I'll put guys on there, too. <clears throat> it's quite, oh, my music stopped. What's going on here? Oh, hit the end of the playlist. Uh oh, we're getting a bite. All right, so about seven o'clock. I wonder how big how big old boy this is. Good carper hooks. Are you are you asking a question? Like, do I know what a good curber hook is? Probably small. I would say like an eight. Uh, I was catching a bunch of silvers on a uh, six earlier. Oh, curb. Well, six. which curper are we talking about? There's like three different curpers on this map. Canary curpers. Canary curpers are super small. Like I probably oh. use a nine on them. And the red breast and the blue one, I was using a seven bloodworm and a six pearl barley, and I was catching silvers on all of it. Oh. Well, there you go. You can, if you use the blue, blue carper, six or seven, try seven bloodworm to start with. Go from there. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be what I'd say. Everything likes bloodworm. I, I eat a bloodworm every once in a while. Oh man, how big does it take to get a a gold? Well, my gold earlier was fifty two pounds. Yeah, but that's a big gold though, because diamond is I know diamond's fifty seven. Oh, is it? Yeah, because oh, okay. uh CJO's was fifty seven. No kidding. I didn't realize I was that close. Yeah. I caught a bunch of silver ones that were in the 30 pound range, but. See, I've noticed while it's oh, daylight yeah. out, they bite pretty good on the liver. Like right now, getting another bite. When it starts turning dark, throw the minnow on there. For these guys. Uh, it's going to be about the same size. Between 6 and 7 o'clock on the tension. I got one on cheese earlier too. It's 
go. Yeah, it's gonna be this is gonna be probably around a twenty seven to thirty pound silver catfish. <laughs> That's still huge, though, you know, like channel cats. That'd be a diamond channel cat easily. Well, that'd be a record yeah. channel cat. Might My biggest channel cat's like 26 pounds. That's what I was going to say. I think mine's 25. Yeah, there's another 30 pound catfish. Just realizing I maxed out that reel already. I'm in second place. Catfish Death Hound says world record 76.58 minus 76.54. Gotcha. Gee. Well, I have a record. Smallest blue carper caught at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> Y'all can bite me. Yorkie. What hook were you? Well, they're calling the official angler discord uh, world record, community record, whatever. <laughs> That's what they're calling it. Try get 80 catfish. See, that's what I said. I said these things might reach 80 pounds. But didn't somebody yeah. say 77 was max? How do we know that, though? I guess unless the devs told them. Well, either that or it's just max so far. Right. Were you guys catching them? Uh, Here. Down at the bottom of the map, this bottom outpost, Sunrise Country Club, right here, where several diamond catfish have been caught. I bet you they can be caught over here, too. That's right where I got my gold. What's 80 pound catfish? Sharp tooth. Yeah, yeah, the sharp tooth catfish we think can go up to 80 pounds. Bite me. I don't like where I'm casted. Why just a smidgen? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I was, I was, I'm just going to land right in one's mouth right there. You've been fishing all day for them, Death Hound? Is this where you caught your diamonds? Right where I'm at? Right here. How long does it take to unlock the whole map? It took me less than two hours. But I'd already done it once. Kind of helps a little bit. I think I still have at least one lookout tower that I haven't found yet. Also, if you need a map in my Discord, is this map. So it will help you with locations. Fishing locations yeah. as well as where all the fast travel points are. So That's in my Discord. If you want to save that picture and go by it. Yeah. I think I did. 
I just been trying to work on this uh, particular challenge all day and it just hasn't worked out yet. <laughs> you know, I've not added the curper to that yet. Let me pull that up. I need to resave that and resubmit a new. I didn't add that curper to that map. Oh, the challenge you yeah we're looking uh, red breast carper yeah i didn't get it added yet That's three. Hey, finally a spotted bass. Yeah, it's added on. I just need to go to, I need to go to Discord. Okay, here we go. We're getting a bite. About a 30 pounder. Been casting deep blue channel on one alt and two alt. I'm on one alt right now. What'd you, what'd you get? Did you get a diamond spotted bass? No. <laughs> a gold? No, it was a silver. It, oh, but you finally a caught a spotted bass. Okay. Yeah, first one. That's my very first one I've caught. Was you in that <laughs> spot using a five popper? Uh, actually, a six popper, but yeah, right well, in that, that same spot. That works. Another 30 pound catfish. <laughs> Diamond dozen, huh? 25 pound catfish. My bad. All right, I'm gonna go fix my coffee. Be right back. I've got it brewed, I just gotta pour it.
Bad thing about wearing wigs, your your phone never recognizes you. <laughs> Does anyone like the floating lines? Seems to be a pain for people who don't need all the realism. Don't bother me. Hey, how did that get muted? Oh, I bet I got it rolled into a button. Let's see. Uh oh, I'm already getting a bite. That's what to do. I'll just tab out. That's the strap. Come on, be a 35 pounder at least. Oh, this one's smaller. This is gonna be like a 23 pound. Is it bad for river fishing? I find it to be a little annoying. Yeah. I could see it being. But it's not. Yeah, I mean, I'm still getting used to it, I guess, but. This is a small one. Like 23 pounds or something. But Anthony Clark, welcome in, bud. Glasser, how you doing, bud? Adam French caught two diamond catfish next to the dam in less than 10 minutes. Okay, Adam French, are you still here? 27 pound. Um, Are we talking like were? Are you still here, by the way? It was moving on me in the steel pond. Like, are we talking like right up against the dam? Talking like over here, over here. I figure, you know, I figured that would be a good spot. Oh, did you see the gape horn on the billboard with the zebras? Big Rig, welcome in, brother. No, what are you talking about? There's zebras? Should I go down here and fish, guys, or keep casting here? What do you think? Big Rig, you gonna get in, uh... You gonna get... Are y'all gonna hang out and fish for stuff? What y'all doing? Or are we just... Are we going to chill? What are we doing? I know we're not competing. Out of curiosity, has anyone heard if they are going to reward us for leveling up? I'm at level 138 and there isn't a reason to level up. Thank you, Anthony Clark. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know. I, I've been lobbying for like cosmetics every 10 levels. Like give us a special shirt, special skins, special boat, something, you know? Small. Just had 44 pound line break on a one alt zero tension at Sunrise Country Club. You might you might not have been standing on the edge though. If it if it clipped the edge of a rock or something. Rods or lures or something. Yeah. Big rig. Did you trick me into reading something? What did he do? 
What did I read? <laughs> oh man <laughs> you got me got him <laughs> oh you got me you got me you got me I didn't even realize it that I'd read it. Did I read it twice? I think I read it twice. Oh, man. Oh. That's awesome. <clears throat> Bearded Daddy. Hope all is well as Jason. Oh, what's up, buddy? How are you doing? Hope all is well, brother. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers. I drank my coffee at nine o'clock. Seth W. Man, Tomlinson. Like <laughs> Thanks for doing karate in the garage, bud. Uh-oh, we're getting a bite. Still above ground, brother. Me too, just made a pot. Oh, yeah. Well, the wife is at a track meet tonight, so she probably won't be back till 11 o'clock or so. So I'm like, late stream. We're going to do some fishing. I finished cooking with gas. How do I get the next mission? Do I pick it up somewhere? Oh, it's, uh, you can, you pick them all up at the same time if you want. They're at the outposts. Yeah, they're in the center board at the, uh. It's not bad bearded, bearded daddy. I mean, it's a, it's a good little side gig. I mean, it can, you know, some people do this for a living. I've still got the day job, you know, but, uh, it helps. And it's just fun, you know. You get to make friends from all over and wear stupid wigs. Let's see. Uh, I was going to answer someone's question. Oh, uh, yeah, like, look. There's five outposts on this, see? Right here. There's this one down here. This one over here. Three of them, these two, and then one up here. I can't remember which three. I know the starting outpost doesn't have anything. This one does, I know. But that's where you get them. DJ Ligma, big props for balancing day, a daytime job in YouTube. Okay, so here's how I do that. And Bearded Daddy can vouch for this. Because I... I somehow find time to go to ball games because he's right there with me watching those same ball games. Um, so what I try to do is I get up at like 5, 5.30 in the morning and I do all my editing, filming, editing, all that stuff for my YouTube videos. Ooh, 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 shit. What Excuse happened? Me. Sorry. <laughs> what happened? Sorry. Did you catch something? <laughs> I got something big on here right now. <laughs> nice. We are now PG-13 channel. Sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I but, was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh, so two hours before work, I do my YouTube stuff. I go oh, to work, goodness. and then I, you know, I usually get home around 4, 4.15, and somewhere between 4.15, 4.30, I stream for two hours. I'm usually off by 6.30. Then the rest of the evening's family time or ball game time or whatever. Busy schedule. Very busy schedule. Is it a diamond? Have you caught it yet? I, no, I'm still trying. Man, it, it 
put me into the red like heavy. I was not. I really apologize to everybody for that. I <laughs> it's okay. That. That's pretty funny. <laughs> God. <laughs> At least you didn't drop a big f bomb. You know. Well, I've been catching five pound, you know, spotted bass, and all of a sudden this thing oh, just pegged me out. A tiger. It's probably a tiger. Yeah, if you're in that spot, it's a tiger fish. This is going to be Man. a thirty pound catfish here, probably or better. <laughs> Man. They are coming out well on a size eight. What, John Peach, what are you catching on a size eight? Kerper? Some type of Kerper? Oh, oh, oh. Well, come on. Stop running. Stop running. Busy but manageable. That's nice. Love watching the video, so your effort is much appreciated. There are mornings I just don't feel like doing it, so I'll sleep in and then go to work, you know? So, but if I was able, like if, if I was retired, I'd make a YouTube video every day every day and i tried for a while there for about a month month and a half I, I had a video coming out every day and i just i've gotten to where i just can't do it it's just too much uh, but i try to cut you know I'll, I'll put three or four videos out a week usually red nose and purples yeah there's a 28.63 pound catfish what size hook am i using One alt. I'll tell you what. And then baby. <laughs> you got a diamond? Diamond African tiger fish. <laughs> I hate you. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> Are you in that spot that we were in earlier? Yeah, I'm in that exact spot. I'm telling you, that surprised me. Oh my god. Were you casting toward the bank? Or to uh, toward the dock? Ah, that, uh, that general direction, yeah. Where Flanner was 26.59 pounds. 26? 26.59. Really? Yeah. Flanner's was 30. Flanner's was 33. So, so we know they go from 26 to 33 at least. Yeah. And Adam French, I was asking you earlier, you must have hopped out. Caught those two diamond catfish next to the dam on size two hook with minnow. Um, are you, were you about right here where I've got this marker? Or were you like through here or where were you? And minnow, I've noticed they bite better at nighttime on minnow. Liver, daytime they bite liver a little better. Exactly there. All right. And number two, not too alt, right? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a one alt just because that catches silvers. I'm going to use liver to start with, but I'm going to move to that spot. <laughs> Cause That's I think as, I think as each person's populations are randomized, some people have a diamond there where I was. Some people have one up here at the dam, I bet. And there's probably a couple other spots. So I'm gonna go try my luck at the dam. I'm gonna go catch me a damn catfish. Oh, PG-13 again. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go catch me a catfish by the dam. <clears throat> Dad. Curious what temperatures oh will goodness. be diamond potential for these deep water fish. Uh, I wrote it down. Uh, I've got the temperature of CGO's catfish somewhere. It's deep in that spot. Like, how, what? How deep are we? Am I going to have enough line to reach the bottom? You still in single player? Yeah. 
I've not had a crash or any issue since I've been a single player. Yeah, I, mean, I, I switched over myself because it was... I was just going to head out there and try to snag me a catfish. But I don't know if I'm going to go to the dam. There you go, DJ. Hope it helps you, bud. Three hundred and seventy-seven. That's how deep it is. God, do you have that much line? I don't have it. They don't even hold that much line. You couldn't have. You couldn't have no. cast there. It has to at least be like over this way or something. Yeah, and those little bit. Uh, There's not enough line. Lighter. Yeah. They don't even have 377 feet of line on the reel. Yes, Anthony Clark. Um, Wilson's on it. I would say I would say it'd be out tomorrow. But well, there's 257. That one place I casted was 377. Like right here, right there, was 377. That deepest part right there is 377. I'm five fish away from bingo on Norway. That chart has been incredibly helpful. Got two diamond bullhead catfish yesterday using it. Sweet, man. Oh, man, that, that bullhead catfish. You know, my line has still not hit the bottom since we've been talking. That bull, that <laughs> bullhead catfish... Drove me crazy. That was a. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That was a tough one. You guys, do, you guys do a great job helping us. It's what we're here for, man. You know, if it helps you, you know, I did awesome. If it didn't help you, it's dad's fault. Because <laughs> you know? he told me to do it, you know. Well, I feel better that I got a diamond on the first day, so that's that's good. Oh, rub it in. Just rub it in. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? I think you did. Pretty loud, too. Which one was it? Oh, tiger fish. That's right. Yeah, African tiger fish. And so right there in that same spot, you can get a spotted bass dime, too. Right next to me, I didn't see the big old bullhead. Hey. Yeah. DJ, did you watch the stream where Torok was beside me and caught 11 11 diamond bullhead catfish on a five liver on a five liver and i kept trying it and couldn't get a bite and so finally one stream doan or torok or one of them talked me into it they were like five liver five liver and i was like okay just to prove you wrong so. i'm going to go the rest of the stream and all i'm going to use is a five liver just so I can show you it doesn't work for me. Guess what happened? <laughs> About 45 minutes later, my stubbornness prevailed. And I caught a diamond on a five liver and I had to eat crow. Any advice on next or second thing to do after the photo challenge? Uh, Just, you know. I just made sure that I got all 15 lookout towers and then you know the white triangle or the white question marks to go from there. Uh, I can... Uh-oh. We're getting a bite. Be big! Be... That's yeah, going to be like 30. I'll show you something else too that's pretty... That's, that's pretty handy. Once we... Here in about 30 minutes, and I reel in all this line. <sighs> Take forever. I almost want to turn on auto reel. <laughs> then I could just tab out and show you what I'm talking about. So, up in the north. We'll say north east. There's a lookout tower. 
Oh, that one way out there? And there's a cave. But when you go to that lookout tower and unlock it, if you drive down this certain hill, it clears out and there's no trees. And you can drive down the point of that hill and get as close to that because you got to take a picture in that cave. So you get as close to that as you can. And then it'll pop up some XP points. That unlocks that fast travel. So instead of having to walk all the way down there, you can then just tra fast travel to it and do it. Pretty sweet. But I'll show you. Ah, 29.78. Daggone it. All right, while that's sinking, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, right here. So this lookout tower. So this is one of the photo. Oh, you've already got it though. I'm catching the eel. Uh, wait till nighttime and go in this cave and catch an eel in there on Red worm or me know. Put you about a five or a six hook. Throw it out there. Should catch one fairly quickly. When it gets closer to nighttime, I could go catch one real quick. Why is my bait moving? Recent Norway video you did got my first nine burbot there. It was excellent stuff. I even got it during the middle of the day. Sweet. Yeah, it's funny that some of those nighttime fish, like the bullhead and the burbot, are caught right in the daytime. You know? Yeah. How many notes in Africa? Uh, I've not got them all yet. It's like the channel cat on GRR. Where? I think I've got one of those at night. The rest have been during the day. Where's the notes even at? The collectibles. I mean, they're, the collectibles. They're sitting around in chairs. Collectibles and stuff. Oh, here they are. I wonder if there's any nuts. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those pictures. An impala, hippopotamus, leopard. I'm in zebra. All right, John Peach. Have a good one, buddy. Oh, cheap. here we go. The bream, that diamond eludes me. I caught two back to back. Did you watch that video, DJ? Watch my diamond bream video. Ah, this one's going to be less than 30 pounds. I'm getting ready to switch to minnow. I did pick up the reel out of the catch box. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I caught two bream back to back at that spot in my bream video. I did do a video on that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I think you did a video and a couple shorts, too. I'm, I knew I did the shorts, but that's why I was questioning myself. Did I do I actually do a guide on that? <clears throat> Hey, it wasn't bad at all. I, I didn't have to, I didn't spend much time on the bream at all right there in that spot, man. Somebody said when I was on that rock, somebody said be casting over to the left. 
so i cast it over to was that you that told me that (laughs) yeah i cast it over to the left and it was like two or three fish later and then and then i think dad even said go for another one and the very next one was a diamond yep i'm switching to minnow I'm also going to move this way just a smidge. Just a little smidgen. So it's not as deep. Oh yeah, about 200 feet. That's the magic number right there. How do you know what hook size to use for all the fish on Africa? Are they on Discord yet? The great one, what I did was just using prior knowledge from the other maps, right? Like the Kerper type fish, the little small fish. I'd usually go like an eight or nine blood worm. Cause that's normally what, what they're gonna bite. And then I would go from there. I would keep moving up until I started eliminating the bronzes. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's just the way I did. And like number five for your medium sized fish, like the spotted bass a good size um then you got like your tiger fish your yellow fish that number three seems to be a good size to catch there you know a frog hopper those yellow fish are fun and you can catch crap out of them up here um you can catch a crap ton up here like in between right here on this spot and this lake i don't know if you can catch a diamond or not but I was catching a ton of them, goads, right here between these two spots. Those things get pretty big, too. Seems like I was catching them by that freaky spot, too. Did I just get a bite, or is that you? I just got a nibble. Okay. I can turn that down if it's too loud. I just hear it when you talk. Oh, okay. Right when you spoke, I could hear it nibble and it made me think i had a bite <laughs> oh so that's how i can get you <laughs> yeah yeah speaking of mike anybody seen mike <laughs> mike you here check on my wife here I'm guessing this is probably a 20 pounder. Mm. Hey man, they did a great job on this map though. It's really a beautiful map. Fish look good. Water looks good. So there's no level three location challenges. Did y'all get, see that? 26 pounds. So, yeah, I noticed that too. So I'm hoping that when we get none, we'll have the thousand rip. And I haven't even done any of those challenges, just the ones that I've happened to do. And I'm already, yeah, uh, 270 rep. I went 210. See, I was at 500 on the early build that I was on. But, you know, but I'm not too upset about it because I'll get back to that real quick. I mean, it's just catching fish. You know, we're going to do that. That's why I haven't killed myself to try to do it yet. What's up, Letful? How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Good to see you.
Well, I've not had much luck since I switched to the Mino, have I? I just caught one on a liver. I think you're a little later than I am, though. I'm at 1626. All right. All right While well, that's sinking, I'll be right back. Got to refill my... Got to refill my uh, coffee cup. <laughs> you could be up all night. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? He's getting a nibble. <laughs> Jerry's like, where's Mike when you need him? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, did I get a bite? Anybody here if I got no. a bite or not? Oh, I'm getting a bite right now. Unless that was you. No. Wasn't me. Nice timing right there, boys. Ah, it's going to be a 30 pounder. Uh, could be 31 ish 32 maybe are you where, using a one -hot? yeah where do they go uh thanks g man see men can complement each other's hair too <laughs> yeah where is mike i'm starting to wonder about mike Thirty-eight pounds is gold. Oh man, this is not thirty-eight pounds. This might be thirty-one, thirty-two, maybe. Man, that's a bummer. I can't believe how close to diamond I was then, man. That... Hey, you got a diamond tiger fish, man. <laughs> Spoiled yeah, but brat. To... Anyone know the hook size for Africa modeled eel? I know. Just try four probably. or three. That's probably pretty similar to Spain. I mean, they seem to be around that size. Yeah, they're around the same size. Uh, they're a little bigger, actually. A little bit bigger. Are they? Yeah. I got a silver. I That's the biggest one I've caught so far is a silver. He already has a dime tiger fish, Hal. Uh... I show him where to catch them, and he goes and catches them. Oh, that's a 36-pounder. And it's still a silver. Dang it.
I'm going to need you to be a little bigger next time. Thank you. Uh, just try them. Great one and go from there. Try four first. Always try a little bit smaller first. And then if you catch a bronze, just move up to a three. You know, if you catch another bronze at three, then move up to a two. That's what I do, you know. <laughs> Come on, G-Man. I earned that dime. <laughs> Hacks. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we keep getting kicked off the server. He's hacking. My dad actually owns EW, and I will get him banned. There we go. Hey, tell tell your dad I need a raise. <clears throat> Does he understand how long it took me to get that uh, challenge completed? I earned that dime. Yeah, it took him a whole half a day. <laughs> to get that diamond. So two weeks from now, when you're still trying to get yours, remember that. <laughs> oh. Bite me, catfish. Butt killer with the awesome sauce. How's it going, butt killer? Good to see you, bud. The gold burba. Oh, we don't even want to talk about before they made the green sunfish easier. Oh, that was a nightmare. <laughs> Half a day. It took me four days to get that gold. Yeah. Yeah, the, the green sunfish I was on for a while, and a lot of people were. But I did get a lot well, of yellow broke. perch diamonds in the process. Yeah, it was broke, though. I mean, did they? Uh, I mean, good Lord. I, I sat there for days trying to get a gold green sunfish. How's it going? Well, butt killer, I'm sitting here trying to catch a gold um, catfish. <laughs> and I just caught a 36 and a half pounder. And it was still silver. That green sunfish took me nearly a month. That took me like two months, DJ. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> Remember what you used for the green sunfish is I still need it. Eight marshmallow. But they've even yeah. moved the location of it, Yorkie. It's not even in the same spot that it used to be when it was bugged. Yeah. They, it's on the same lake, but they I, moved it down to the bottom of the lake. It used to be over by the dock or the little yeah. the little wooden All the way structure. to the north. Yeah. Man, this thing hasn't bit in a while, has it? Blue, how's it going? I guess blue, bluey, blue. Had a quick go earlier, but got no bites. I'll try eight marshmallow or eight marshmallow eliminates the uh, yellow perch. Yeah, that's why I like it. I like it a lot. Plus, I like the taste of marshmallows better than bloodworm. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with that one, too. What size hook are you using? I'm using a one alt. I think two alts when it starts going to go to and above, but I'm already having to wait so long for a silver to bite. I don't know. I don't know, yeah, man. Figured I'd give it another try in the two-watt, because that's what I did. I cast it in earlier, and I got that big gold. 
Luke, this spot right here is by the dam. You can actually, there's actually uh, over here, there is a challenge over here. Actually, you know what? I need to go get that, I think. I just go ahead and catch the catfish from here to get this mission locked. Oh, I've already picked it up. I haven't completed it, have I? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna complete this. I hope I'm going to complete this. If we're going by personal taste, I'd use a snack size payday bar. Marshmallows are great, but paydays will always be my favorite. You can't buy that at the tackle shop, though, DJ. I love Africa, the map. I know people that have actually been to Africa, and they say it's beautiful. I'd love to go and see all those animals and stuff. I have a little bit of an obsession with like big cats, like lions and tigers, puma. My favorite cat is leopards. I love leopards. I think they're beautiful. Well, that was strange. What? My, my bottom bait just all of a sudden dropped down 10 feet. It's drifting. So it's on the bottom of the lake. That's your line drifting and moving it. I'd tie yeah. a cheeseburger to my rod if I could, but I can't. There you go. I've I've I never been to Africa. I'm from Ohio in the USA. I've never been either. I'm I'm right down below you, great one. I'm uh, I'm in Kentucky, so I used to hunt up, up in Muskingum County, up in Ohio, actually. My favorite part of Ohio, Sandusky, Cedar Point. I've been there. I love Cedar Point. Uh, <laughs> Ravenna, Ravenna, Ohio is where my aunt used to live. Oh, yes, McDouble bait sounds good. Are you trying to catch me or the fish? <laughs> I feel like I should be casting way out there. Because it seems like they're just deep, right? But you got to be standing from here. So I'm going to cast as far out as I can. See how deep this goes. 74 feet. That's not that deep. I did that earlier today. And I don't think I got deeper than like 100 and something feet at the most. From this spot? It seems like I was there at that little dock where that challenge is by the dam. Yeah, I, I, 74 is as far as I can. It might have been around that then because I, I didn't get very far. That's what we always said when we went fishing. When we would go cat fishing, we'd always say, man, we're feeding these things. Because my dad would like chop up chicken breast, soak them in Kool-Aid, and I was like, man, we're feeding these fish better than what? What we eat. Had so many people tell me, like chicken liver, like you go and you get a bunch of bites, but they pull it off the hook so easily. I've had yeah. so many people tell me, I'll oh, put, put uh, pantyhose around it, and that way they can't pull it off the hook. But every time I do that, I don't get any bites. So I don't know.
this uh, challenge sucks really bad. Yeah. Um. I need a goad with a bottom fishing rig. What else could I? What else uses bottom fishing rig? Car. In there, in there, mirror carp in this area. Ooh, mottled eel. Let's go after a mottled eel. Crazy. Where's the modeled EL2 challenge? Three or four didn't work for the eel. I always use a five. Well, traditionally that's what I use the five. Really haven't gone for them on this map though. See what happens. I got a cat in my PFP. PFP. <coughs> PFP. Uh, what's PFP? All these acronyms, man. <laughs> I'm 47. I don't know the lingo. EFP, personal Facebook page. No wonder I was fishing float. Yeah, they're bottom feeders. bottom lurkers but I could be wrong on the hook size too that's just my guess hmm. profile picture Wouldn't that mean pee pee? Got a cat in my pee pee? Trying a four right now on the bottom. Okay. <coughs> you know what? It could just be that there's bronzes in this cave. Do this. I'm going to go to a six. I'm going to put a red worm on. Because I'm cray. Let's 
Silver Eel on five and four with Liber earlier. Nice, Luke. Five and four. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Uh, you got light gear? Apparently so. <laughs> I'll say that's a big eel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got light. We're in, we're in, we're in for a fight. It's probably going to snap my line around that column over there. What size line have I got on here? Carp, you're probably right, or Lewis. But I do have light line on. I'm on 65% drag. This is going to suck when I fight this thing for 20 minutes and it's a bronze cart. Well, I might actually be winning the battle here. Trying five on bottom. Uh, look at, see if you can find something that cart don't eat that eel does. <laughs> that would be my advice. Unless you got a big line. I think I'm going to win this battle, though. I think I'm tiring it out. But it's going to be a bronze cart. Yeah, also, Anthony, I always remember to spin your guy around, too. Sometimes you can catch, by spinning them around, you can catch a little better lighting, but yeah, hopefully they get that fixed soon. Yeah, but I'm trying to do the challenge with the bottom feeder rod. We're going to catch this thing. We're going to catch this bronze carp. <laughs> hey, maybe I got lucky and it's a diamond eel on light gear. Doubt it. That'd be, that'd be nice, though. Well, it would be nice that if we could catch a diamond in a cave. You know, because we're cutting on Spain. Oh, it's a car. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a they mirror car on this one. It's going to be a bronze mirror car. Oh, 
Oh, you definitely can, R. Lewis? I didn't know that. Good. That's a common cart. It's a silver common cart. Let's go. Red worm minnow white wafters. Eggs. Leeches liver. Liver. Leeches. Leeches or liver. There we go. Leeches. Great one. Got a diamond. What? What'd you get a diamond of? Congratulations on your diamond. Uh, great one. What'd you get? Don't leave us hanging. I was saying, hope you had a diamond. Oh, I got you. I I don't know. I mean, just based on Spain, you couldn't catch a diamond in the caves. But uh, R. Lewis, are you saying you've seen people catch diamond eel and cart in these caves? Thank God. That really ruined the caves for me in Spain. Oh, really? Did you see it in a multiplayer today or something? Sweet action. That's not one to bad, is it? Try to leave her. Wait a minute. They don't hit minnows. Do they? I like, I think I think eel hit minnows. Oh that yeah, minnows like their second. Oh, we're using minnow. And minnow is a good nighttime. Good nighttime anyway. Good minnow. How much money is the new map? Can anybody answer that? Cave spots are on the help sheets now. Nice. Nine ninety nine on Xbox. So ten bucks. Ten bucks. Eight ten dollars for that. Nice. Nice. 
supply stations now, nanny. Now, good, good, good. Now, if we can just get the multiplayer issues fixed, we'll be golden. <clears throat> I am not getting a bite on this eel. And it's making me feel ill. <laughs> no? no? Nothing? <laughs> Did you hear the crickets going? Yeah. <laughs> Got it free from the reserve pass. Yeah, I bought the reserve pass for my son. I feel we were ill prepared. <laughs> oh, speaking of. Who needs it? Who needs who needs South Africa? On the angler. Is anybody watching not have it yet? <laughs> We're going to do a giveaway. Does anybody need it? I forgot about the giveaway. I did too. Anybody out there need South Africa? Luke Thompson. Luke Thompson. What uh, platform are you? Blue says I don't have any. I just got into the game because I like fishing. So if we got three people that need it. Thanks, Luke Thompson, for the sub. So we got three people that need it. Luke, Steve, and Blue. All right. Are all you all from the United States? Xbox. Blue, what are you playing on? Are you on console, PC, what? Yeah, they do the region lock thing, man. If you're not from the United States. How many challenge boards in Africa? There's three. Are you talking about location challenges? Because there's 16 fish. Man, why is this thing not biting? <laughs> I can't get a bite from a catfish either. Okay, it's way up there, see what happens. All right. So, Steve. And how many challenge boards? Well, I mean, there's 32 if you're talking about location challenges, but I have them all on the map that's in Discord that I have to update right now.
Change. Attachment. Yeah, in my Discord. Oh, finally a nibble. Yeah, in my Discord, uh, the new map is no. there. Main story missions. There's four main story missions. There's a. Uh... Oh, I'm finally getting a, a nibble. Hold on, let me catch this fish and I'll show you. And we're going to do that giveaway. Steve or uh, who was the other one that's in the United States? Steve or Luke? Was yeah. it Luke? All right, let's see what yeah. we got here. We'll do that giveaway after I catch this here. Challenge boards, I think, said 32, right? Because there's 16 fish, there's a bronze and silver for each. Okay. Well, hold on, Luke. We're going to spin a wheel. And if it lands on you, you get it. If it lands on Steve, Steve gets it. So you got 50 50 shot. Oh, that is. That's a curper. Back on it. The blue curper. It's a nice blue curper. Okay, here we go. Let, before I throw us back in the thing, let's do this. Um, let's break. That's not it yet. Not the one I want. Hold on. There we go. That's the one. All right, so let's see. We got Luke. Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do Luke and Steve. They're here watching the stream. Your friend's not in here watching the stream, so I want I want to do this to somebody that's in here watching the stream. So we're gonna do Luke, and we're gonna do uh, Steve. Since Luke alphabetically is before S, what we will do is Luke, you're going to be number one. Steve, you're going to be number two. So if it lands on one, it's Luke's. If it lands on two, it's Steve's. Okay, let's do it. Two is Steve. So, Steve, what'd you say you were on? Are you on Steam? Steve, you, Stevie B, are you on Steam? Uh, do you have Discord? Because I'm going to have to add you as a friend and then gift it to you. Um, or if you're on Twitch, you're on Twitch right now, right? 
whisper me. Whisper me on Twitch uh, your Steam name. Yeah, just send me a whisper on Twitch since you're already on Twitch right now. Um, and I will send that to you. And then you could start playing it right now if you want. As soon as I get it, I'll gift it to you. Congratulations. And thanks for watching my stream. See, that's the thing. Like, I know we can give them away to our friends and stuff like that, but I want to reward the people that's actually here watching the stream, you know? Kind of my way to say thank you. So. Also, courtesy of Mike, because Mike won the giveaway a couple months ago, and he said the next DLC, give it away to somebody. So... You can thank Mike for that as well. Who's I don't I don't know where Mike's at. He's one of our mods in the channel, and I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. Uh oh, what have we got here? An eel. Three five six forever. Thank you so much, buddy, for the super sticker. <clears throat> There's an eel. There we go. We got it on a uh, on a minnow. So that gets that one done. Uh oh, I'm on. Yeah, do you know how to send a whisper there, Steve? Stevie B. All right, Steve, I'm going to whisper you right now. <clears throat> you should, if you're looking at, at Twitch, you should see like a little message. I just sent you a message. You can just reply right there. Let me know what your Steam name is. And I'll gift you the map. 356, you rock star. Thank you so much, buddy. You have a good night. Thanks for the uh, super sticker. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, do you see where it popped up, my message to you, Stevie B? You know what? Oh, so there's no... See, I didn't know you could summon a boat here. It's still not putting the icon there. You might have to use it first. Didn't have to the other ones. Oh, maybe you did. Well, maybe that's what it is. Um, up through here, guys, where I'm going right now, there's two or three, um, Location challenges up this river. Where are goad tiger fish caught? Well, you can catch goads right here no, or by diamond. the bridge. You can catch diamonds too there. So, <laughs> right, Dad's a psycho. <laughs> See you later, three five six. Have a good night, buddy. Torak, go catch you about twelve. Diamond tiger fish there, bud. <laughs> I know it's what's you about to happen. That. You gotta go park there first. Oh, I gotta go. That's that. right. Let me go let me go over there so you can stand beside me. <laughs> ah, I'm in single player. You're screwed. We're going to take a left right here.
Is it not right here? Uh oh. Oh, there it is. I thought it was there. Wow. I've never noticed that. What? You get, the African sharp tooth catfish actually goes after a spoon. Yeah. Yeah, you can lure a fish. For, three, five, six forever. Thanks for the sub. Spinner. Wow. Jerk bait. <laughs> All right. Mossberg's. Uh. I will get that. Hold on. Let me get you fixed up. Friends. Add a friend. Can't you do the friends by their name? Oh, here. It's profile name. Here we go. Oh. I don't do a lot of friends on Steam. Add as friend. Friend invite sent. They will appear as a friend once they have accepted your invite. So go to Steam and accept that invite and I will gift that to you right quick. Steve. All right, let me, uh, somewhere through here, there is a, there it is. Yeah, I knew I hadn't picked that up yet. Red Nose Labeo Location Challenge 2. And then there's another one right here on this little island. But the reason I'm coming up here is I want to I want to fish for eel because it's nighttime, and the other eel challenge is over there on the other side. So I'm playing single player, Italo, because I was I kept crashing on multiplayer. Luke, no problem, buddy. We do other giveaways. Make sure to hang around the channel and listen. Uh, when we get to 5,000 subs, we're going to do a celebration stream and do some more giveaways and stuff. I would do more giveaways if I could, but I'm a teacher and with two master's degrees and they pay us like crap so I'm poor bro <laughs> let's see somewhere through here there is another I know, right? Wait, am I wrong about that? Is there not a fishing challenge here? Is there not a fishing challenge here? I, I've oh, never there's been there. not one. There's just a boat there. Okay. So the fishing challenge go. then is over here. Oops. Under 36 pounds silver. <laughs> DJ, I like that. Rich enough to be happy, poor enough to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> Austin Rowe, how's it going, buddy? 
Are you over the UK loss yet, Austin Rowe? I'm still having nightmares about it. Uh, did it not just tell me to dock the boat? Why does it keep putting me? I just want to get out of the boat. It's not going to let me out of the boat. <laughs> oh my God. Let's just hope it's this dock that's messed up. Oh my God. Can't get out of the boat. That dock screwed up. Seems like Cal will be back. I think he's get some car got some cards up. Listen, I'm over Cal. He can go somewhere else for all I care. I'll I'll take a hundred thousand dollars and coach that team, and I bet I can lose in the SEC tournament first round, the NCAA tournament first round, and they can save eight million dollars. <clears throat> <laughs> That's how I really feel about it. Let's see where is the modeled your challenge to okay. your old man told you that what is this right here swimming around what do you think you're doing i think i'm gonna cast out that way First live of Cotton Wild, sorry for being distant, went for an eight hour shift to a 12 hour shift at the hospital. I work, barely have free time. I understand that, man. I understand that. Getting us a bite already. What size lure get the smallest goad? What fish are we talking about? Tiger fish? There's a modeled eel. There's a seven pound modeled eel. Uh, two, maybe? I caught that dime on a, a six popper earlier. Yeah, I know. Are you talking about golden up? I just said, I just said, I understand. Awesome. I will not do the gear challenges. <laughs> hey, you do you, buddy. Uh, let's see. Let me get you sorted. I'm so glad it's called South Africa. Whew.
crap. What? What would that have been? I might as well quit until I get this figured out here. Mossberg. All right, bud, you should have it. You are now the proud owner of South Africa Reserve. Enjoy. What would have bit there that was aggressive? Are the uh, yellow fish aggressive? I don't know, but something bit without nibbling. Where do I go on Steam to download the DLC? Uh, open up Steam. There should be like a notification there that you got a gift or something. There's fish swimming around here all over the place. All right, Steve. Enjoy, buddy. Let me know what you think about Africa. South, South, South Africa. He's already said, I ain't doing no challenges. <laughs> I think I just saw a purple labeo swimming around. What do they like? Red worm, cheese, eggs. Hurry up. What is this that keeps? What's aggressive? Oh, that's a tiger fish. Find them. They must be all over the map. Frog spoon spinner. You know, leeches. Right. What can I? What can I put? Catches. Wait. Liver. Oh, let's do liver. Maybe we get lucky and catch a catfish in here too. I caught a bunch of silver in that river system over there, catfish, earlier. <clears throat> Haven't got the new map yet, but probably will Friday. Gotcha, man. I found the reel. It's in my storage. Yeah, yeah, when, when you get it, if you don't have storage. Um, it's, it's best if you can remember when you start these new maps and you start doing these missions. It's best if you can remember to clear up about four or five slots. That way, when you get new stuff, it doesn't go to storage. I did the same thing, and I had to go get out of the storage. Oh, there's a rod once you do the mission. That's what I'm trying to do, is get the uh, rod. I have to catch a gold on a bottom feeder. I've not done that yet. <clears throat> I 
Oh, here's a here's an eagle. The bronze. Oh, we're still catching bronzes. Okay, we're gonna move up. We'll move up to a four. We'll just keep creeping our way up till we figure it out. They're biting good here, though, on the uh, the eel. You have the day off for Easter. Oh, good Friday. Nice. We're having a big breakfast at work. Hey, Stevie, enjoy, buddy. Uh, let me know. You know, let me know next stream how you did. If you caught anything good, enjoy. See ya. I just need to catch a gold on a bottom feeder and I'll have it done. You you caught a catfish for yours? This yeah. didn't nibble. What in the world would this be on a liver? Aggressive. Tiger fish don't bite it. What is this? I was catching yellow fish over there. I don't know if they're aggressive or not. What is this? What? I thought tiger fish didn't bite liver. Did I miss it? Did I overlook that? Yeah, it's on there. It is on there. Crap ducks. What? Red worms not. Hakuna Matata. What mission you got to do to get the rod? Well, this one. It's the um, taking the spear. Wait. What? Taking the spear. Well, I guess it's Rise with the Sun. There's the float. There's the real Rise with the Sun, I guess, gives the uh, the rod. I would have thought the spear would have been the rod, but rise with the sun's go uh, once I catch a gold fish on this bottom fishing rig. <sighs> but those are the four main missions. You pick all those up at the outposts when you pick up the gear challenges. It's the big one in the middle. I know there's one here. And I think there's one here at Sunrise Country. Of course. While I'm showing stuff, I need that. That's not an eel. It's a smallmouth yellowfish. Man. What do I gotta do? The catch. Can't use me an O, let's see. White wafters? Wow, 
White wafters. Okay, let's try that. Kind of been on center kick recently. Grounded out three great one fallow. There you go. I just can't do it anymore, man. I need a new map on that game to get back into it. Alpine, you rock star. How you doing, bud? Thanks for the big boy raid 34 viewers. How's it going, my dude? We got a mod over on Twitch. I can do a shout out. Thanks for the sub, my friend. How do you like South Africa? Have you been fishing? Oh, oh, how you been, my guy? Five gold so far? I don't even know if I've got a gold yet. On this build, I don't think I do. I've got a gold tiger fish. Yeah. I had some on the early access, but not being that lucky here. Where does it look like? Either in Asian or in Africa 2.0. What does it look like there might be a... Don't you find that odd that there's like a tooth right there? You know what? Mm. That's going to be the secret. That's the secret diamond spot in the tooth. We're going to go fish and catch a diamond eel in the tooth three tiger and two cats i don't have oh god i don't have a uh gold catfish i caught a 36 pounder it's got to be getting close to gold well dad here dad's a psycho here caught a diamond <laughs> cat uh tiger fish earlier Four. You brought that up, not me. <laughs> 40, I think, is gold. It's got to be somewhere. Oh, love you, dear. The wifey made it home. God's 10.30? Yeah, just about. Time it? flies. All right, we'll fish a little bit here before we hang it up. Let's see what happens. I'm calling it diamond in the tooth right here. That's just odd. Normally, normally you don't see that the lighter color like that. Hmm. Then they do something like that on Spain when they're like a bunch of hearts that they did in one of the big lakes. Oh, oh. Seems like I remember seeing some hearts on the bottom of one of them. Been, been going for eight hours here. Whew. Gee! Guess I better get my sunglasses on. Oh, because of the... My, my hairdo? You don't like it? <laughs> I had the monk one on earlier. Thanks, Crash. I better post that to your top five before R. Lewis gets a hold of everything. 
what I think about escaping Calipari. I'm shocked, man. There's a lot of mad people. I thought he was out. I thought that was it. Because especially when they started saying that the president said he would back whatever Mitch Barnhart's decision was. You know? And then all of a sudden, we keep him. Well, I mean, you think they wanted to pay him $33 million for him to leave? Well, there are some things that would have freed that up. Like, number one, you didn't have to pay it all in one lump sum. And if he had hired, gotten hired by somebody else, and they could have took on part of that buyout as well. Um, it's just a thing with Kentucky. You know, there's a certain expectation here. Um, like, Barnhart's in the hot seat, too. So... I, you know, I, I think, I think it's a big cow's last year. I do. Like if, if they get bounced again early next year or have a bad season or whatever, he's gone. That's it. It's four bad years in a row, man. Like any given night, you can have a bad night. In any sport, you can just have a bad night every once in a while. You're going to have a bad game. That's that's fine. But four years in a row, come on. Four years in a row shouldn't happen. Um, The big donors are the reason... They, they told, if you follow Matt Jones, he's real close to the UK program, not Calipari, but like Mitch Barnhart and some of the other big donors and stuff. And he gets insider information and he was told the money would be there if Mitch Barnhart decided to get rid of him, that they would gather the money. And, I mean, Joe Kraft could write a check for it himself if he wanted to. Yeah, if it's if it's bad season or whatever next year, he's gone. All right, here we go. Have we got ourselves at least a better eel? This one's got better tension. At least be a gold. Come on. Give me a gold eel. He tells it like it is, don't he? Oh, it's a silver. Daggone it. You should have had three national championships. See, that's the thing. People keep saying, who you going to get? But who you going to get? Anybody with a pulse. But you got all these NBA players. That's another reason to fire him. You can't win championships with that many NBA players? How horrible of a coach does that make you look like? People think that's impressive. It's not. It's the other way around for me. If you have that many NBA players going every year, you can't win a championship with that. Or let, let I mean, I know you're going to have a bad night every now and then, but can't get past the first round. Right. But here's the thing. You're paying him eight and a half million dollars to lose in the first round. Hire me for a hundred K and I can lose in the first round and save you eight million dollars. <laughs> I 
You know what I'm saying? Like, people act like, well, you're going to lose all these recruits that's coming in if you get rid of Cal. So what? If he gets them, he's not going to win with them either. They might as well just leave and go somewhere else because this team coming up won't be as stacked as this team here was. And he got bounced this year. I mean, this team's not going to be as good as what this year's team was. Right? I mean, this year's team was good enough to win a national championship if he had brought somebody in to show them how to play defense, which he used to be a really good defensive coach. I don't know what happened there. But his, his teams were always ranked real high in defense. And it's like this year, no defense. And they want to say, well, it's the players. No, it's the coach. Like, I saw Coach Calipari. Not Coach Calipari. Coach K. Is that a big old eel? And, I, and you got to understand, I have a hatred for Duke. Because of, uh, you know. The whole Christian Leitner shot in 92 and all that. <laughs> but I have Parker. always respected Coach K. And I've seen him jerk the all five of the starters out. Coach K is a great coach, though. Exactly. Coach Calipari is a great recruiter. There's a difference. Coach K is a great coach. If Coach K had had this year's UK team, national championship, because he knows how to coach. Like, he would jerk the starters out and put the walk-ons in just to prove a point when his starters weren't playing defense. He would do it. Against North Carolina, he'd do it. Like, he was like, you're not playing if you're not going to play defense. And he would set them on the bench for a couple minutes, and then they'd wake up and they'd go out there and play defense. Rick Patino too, yeah. Like, if you didn't play defense, he jerked your butt out. But it's like Cal Perry wouldn't do that. I don't know. I don't know what his problem was. But that's how you get teams to play defense. Set, set them on the bench, and all of a sudden they'll start playing defense. And I don't know who it was. It was on a, Matt Jones. Had somebody on his podcast or whatever that said, why on earth would you want to be known as the coach that had two lottery picks coming off the bench? Like, why? They should be starting. Edwards and Wagner should have been coming off the bench. Because you're spotting the other team the first four minutes of the game by not having your best players on the court. So you're starting off the game getting beat, and then you got to try to come back every game. When you could start the game off on a positive note and maybe take the lead from the beginning instead of trailing from the beginning. But he likes to play his not his best five. I don't know what, what the deal is. I guess because they weren't five-star McDonald's All-Americans or whatever. Is there no current that carries your float by the shop? Carries your float by the shop? Uh oh There's a silver. Yeah, your current goes with your your float goes with the current. Yeah. If you go fish at like a river, you're going to watch your float go with the current. Heck, it even does it in those little farm ponds. Well, it moves a little bit, yeah. Exactly, Austin. I believe that's the whole reason that he started DJ and Justin, because they were probably...
probably thinking about leaving. But if that's the mindset of players, if they're going to be that selfish, let them leave. Get rid of that cancer. Just let them leave. Rob and Reed should have been starting. Well, his defense for that, when asked about it, was, well, Reed played the second most time on the team. But you know how important the start of a game is? Like, it sets the tone for the game. When you come out and punch another team in the mouth that say, and, and you say, we're Kentucky, and you're up 10 to nothing instead of being down 8 to 1, 8 to 2 for the first four minutes, and then you put Reed and Rob in, how about you start with a big lead and intimidate the other team instead of, because what we did is we spotted them six, eight points at the beginning of every game and then had to come back. I'd have been more worried about Reed and Rob. I guess he knew that Reed and Rob had the heart that they wouldn't leave and transfer. Yeah, we were down eight to one against, was it Texas A&M right off the bat? Start your best players. I mean, it's common sense. That's right. Made you a lot of a lot of money this year. But here's the thing, too, and I hope I word this the right way. Calipari's mo, and he'll admit it, is to see how many NBA players he can he can get put out there. That's his biggest thing. Is he wants to see. So, ever how highly ranked you are as a McDonald's All-American, those are the ones that he wants to showcase the most to try to get them because the NBA is looking at them. So, he tries because he kept saying that Justin Edwards is going to have a breakout game. Justin Edwards is going to have a breakout game. He just kept saying that over and over. Since when have you known a coach to play somebody and start somebody because they might have a breakout game? It's always been you earn your playing time, and he hadn't earned it. He should have been on the bench, and if he wanted to have his breakout game, then he could earn his way into the starting lineup instead of just having it given to him. Like Reed and Rob earned it. They needed they they deserved to be starting. Wagner needed to be coming off the bench. And then maybe that would have woken them up and maybe they would have been starting by the end of the year. That that might have been the fire that they needed to get them to play better. But that's how I really feel about it. I don't know if y'all can tell how passionate <laughs> I am about it. I mean, you know, a couple of little thoughts. I tell you something else that crossed my mind too when they were talking about which coaches could you get to replace Calipari. How about Preston Spradlin from Moorhead? He's not a big name, but you know what? He's from Kentucky, and it means something to him. And you get him cheap. Look what he's done at Moorhead with lesser talent. He would at least give it his all, you know. There's something about being from Kentucky and playing for Kentucky. It just goes a long way. Those are the players that dive on the floor. You need a couple of those players. Like, I'm hoping Reed comes back because then you've got Travis Perry coming in, Mr. Basketball, all-time points leader in Kentucky now. You have those two guards, Reed Shepard and Travis Perry, lighting it up. And I don't know if you heard about this or not. Jamal Mashburn Jr. entered the transfer portal. 
So imagine Jamal Mashburn Jr. transfers to Kentucky. You're starting to look like that 96 team. Not the 96 team. The 92 team that had Mashburn on it. Love that team. And what happens is you get a couple homegrown Kentucky boys that know how to play ball that maybe they're not the most talented or the most athletic on the team. But when those other McDonald's All-Americans see them diving on the floor after every loose ball and hustling, that becomes contagious. And they start feeling bad because they're not doing that. And then all of a sudden they start trying harder because they see how much it means to these Kentucky boys. And it's just, it's contagious. But that is what kind of what I'm scared of, Tyler. At what point do we say enough's enough? Because at what point are these really good players going to stop coming to Kentucky because we're getting beat out in the first round every year? If that becomes the norm, we're going to start losing players. Because they're like, well, Kentucky can't win the big game. I'm not going there, you know? Man, I can't believe we didn't catch a bigger, bigger than a silver eel. Fishing from the tooth spot. I got cast over here. That. Uh oh. Nope, we're getting a bite right now. Not very big though. Yeah, you're right, because they know Calipari is notorious for getting them in the NBA. Calipari's, he said some of the right things, though, in that uh, his talk show last night. Saying that he wouldn't push them to the NBA this year and all that stuff. He, he knew. He, he knew he better watch what he, what he said. He said some things that people wanted to hear. He was kind of hinting at Reed coming back, too. If any of them comes back, it'll be Reed. Because he loves Kentucky that much. Because Reed, no, you know, none of those other players had parents that both went and set records at U University of Kentucky. Yeah, he, he knows. He, he knew what to say. He knew what to say. Now, is he being a used car salesman? Or is he actually going to back it up? Is he actually going to do what he said? Or was he just saying that to, to save his job? We'll see. I don't think Reed will stay four years because at some point, his mom and dad's going to say, look, You've got millions promised to you in the NBA, and we don't want you to get hurt. Now, the thing that Reed's got going for him is he has loved so much that he could get a job anywhere, and his family's well off. And this is a good eel right here. So I think we at least get him for one more year. I think this is at least a gold eel right here. Then we'll at least have the main storyline mission done. Oh, that's your bottom feeder gold mission? Yeah. yeah. If this is an eel, it's at least a gold. It has to be. Because it's going all the way around to almost 8 o'clock. Oh, it, it wasn't an eel. It was a sharp tooth catfish. So you can catch catfish up here. Yeah. Well, dang. 
Yeah. Reed Shepard, you know, he's got both his parents played for Kentucky. So he's got that as a possibility of bringing him back. His, he's not hurting for money. He's a really smart kid, too, like in the classroom. So I could actually even see, even if he went to the NBA, I, he's the type of kid that would probably still get his degree. Like he would probably still work on his degree even while he was in the NBA. Like he's that smart of a kid. Um, he just loves Kentucky, you know. That was that was his dream. That's the reason he wanted to come to Kentucky was to play for Kentucky, not to go to the NBA. But now that that's a possibility, but he's got his NIL deals too, so he he's going to be making millions while he's in college and being worshipped while he's on campus. So there's a chance that he comes back, a much stronger chance than any of the other guards. Now, I think DJ Wagner may come back because he sucks. I mean, he doesn't suck. He's a good, solid player, but in no way is he NBA ready. In no way. Rob Dillingham is Allen Iverson 2.0. So he could go right now. I think Rob Dillingham would go to the NBA and absolutely torch people. Because he's just cocky. He's got that swagger. Brett, none of the seven footers are ready. But you know what? They'll go because they're seven foot. They're seven foot tall. That's the beauty of being seven foot tall. Um, you can go pro if you're semi good. If you can hold the basketball, you, you can go pro if you're seven foot tall. Now they'll, they may not last, you know. Rob Dillingham is one of those players that's going to make exciting shots, buzzer beaters, like he's going to be a human highlight reel. All three seven footers honestly need to come back, but they won't. They need another year to develop. Bama Woods, what's up? Yeah, to me, I'm an Auburn fan, so I cry every day. <laughs> hey, Auburn did good, you know. I mean, they got upset, but they won that SEC tournament at least. And, you know, that's another thing, like, that burns me up about Calipari's contract. And that's all on Mitch Barnhart. Why not say, okay, here's four million guaranteed, right? You're gonna get four million dollars. The rest of it's incentive based. Win thirty games, there's you another million. Win the SEC tournament, there's you another million. Make the final four, there's you another million. Win the national championship, oh, there's you another two million. So there you can make nine million in a year. Or if you don't do any of those things, you get four. You know, I mean, put that stuff in a contract instead of just saying, oh, we're going to give you eight and a half million dollars. We don't care if you win a game or not. That's pretty much what his contract says. There's no performance in uh, incentives in there. Just about any contract out there has performance incentives like that in it. But Calipari, back in 2018 or 19, UCLA was wanting him real bad, so he was getting ready to leave us for UCLA. And so, and at that time, he had, up until then, he hadn't done that bad. He had actually had some really good years. And so they did whatever to keep him. But now they're wishing they hadn't done it. Because ever since then, it's been downhill. Like Barnes at Tennessee, even when he coached at Texas, always thought he was a good coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem is, the next coach after Calipari leaves, whether that's this year, five years, whenever, 
I just want a coach that's kind of young-ish. Like, not 25, but somebody that could coach for another 20 years. You know? Honestly, for me, like, the thing with Bruce Pearl, though, is I think he might even be older than Calipari. It's like, it's like like I'm wanting somebody that can take over the program for another 20 years, you know what I'm saying? And I think that person, nobody around here agrees with me. I think Buzz Williams is your guy. Like, I really like Buzz Williams. The players like him. He's really smart. He beat us twice. Uh, if you hire Buzz, at least you don't lose to him twice. And he just does more with less. Imagine what Buzz could do if he had the caliber of players that UK typically gets, you know? Now, Mitch wouldn't hire Pearl because Pearl's been caught cheating. We're at Tennessee. And Pearl said some things about Kentucky. So, yeah, that I don't think he would hire Bruce Pearl. But Bruce Pearl is a good coach. But I really like Buzz Williams. I think he'd be a great fit. Man, just cannot get that gold. Oh. But yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to hire like an older coach that would be good for a couple of years. I want somebody that's going to build the program back up to where it should be and be with the team for twenty years or so. You know. This one's going down. This this might be. This could be a personal best. Scott Drew. You know he's been at Baylor for 21 years, right? He only has one championship. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man, I was hoping that would be the one. You know, I would take Patino back, but how much longer is he going to be coaching? Uh-oh. This one could be... This one's a little bigger than that last one. I think. Could we be flirting with the gold here? Oh, silver, daggone it. That is called the Gamekeeper restaurant. Yeah, that is in, uh, I don't know if it's considered Blowing Rock or Boone, North Carolina. Yeah, beautiful scenery. If it's pretty, you can actually eat, even eat outside. But yeah, you have to book it in advance. Catching plenty of silver eel here like crazy. But we just have not caught that goad, you know? But the Gamekeeper Restaurant. We're going back there this year. We usually go every May for our anniversary.
Ragnar Gaming, I'm doing good, buddy. How are you? How you been? Oh, getting sleepy. Getting sleepy. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. Well, we had a long stream. We had a four and a half hour stream here. I'm going wow. to say this isn't a diamond potential eel spot because we've caught so many and we should have at least caught a gold by now. Maybe somewhere up in this vicinity or maybe in the deeper waters here. Someplace. I feel like you can catch a diamond eel here somewhere. Just maybe not exactly where I'm at. Maybe it needs to be over in here. The challenge was right there. Well, maybe somewhere in this vicinity. I bet. Be the diamond eel spot. I feel like R. Lewis probably knows. Actually, you know what? Some of them locations are actually up there. Let me look at this. All right, African modeled eel. Oh, really? Wow, wasn't expecting that. So this cave right here. <laughs> well, really? And number one, the place that you can fast travel to down here, they caught a diamond, somebody caught a diamond eel here. in this vicinity. And then where I'm going right now, in this cave. So right here, this is the only place that you can fish right here that I can see. Someone caught one here. Someone caught a diamond here in this. According to the official angler deal. Spider got the diamond eel here. And this is the only place, right? It looks like it goes on back in there, but I don't know where it comes out at to where you could. Yeah. I don't know if there's another entrance. How much does it cost to eat at that place? Uh, you'll probably spend two of you probably spend a hundred bucks. It's nice. It's a nice place. It's a, you know, reservation, ballet. They come up and park your car for you. <clears throat> um. I like the variety platter that has like venison and uh, bison, elk, uh, wild boar. It's got all these dipping sauces and french fries. That's my favorite. A little bit of everything. <clears throat> I've never eaten for that much. Yeah. 
I've done like fifty dollar plate places like Brazilian steakhouses and stuff on special occasions, but never. I don't know that I've ever eaten for two hundred for one meal. I just can't do it. I'm too frugal. Oh, collared shirt. Yeah, I didn't wear no tie. Yeah, collared shirt, some khakis or something. Yeah, I didn't wear no tie to it. Po I wore a polo and uh, khakis. Cargo pants, actually. Well, I'm not getting anything to buy here. Is it too early in the day? It could be. It's 6.05 right now. Go to Tony's Steakhouse in Lexington, $275. Never. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm a teacher. I don't make that kind of money. That's that's like, uh, my, that, that's too much of my paycheck, man. <laughs> Bearded Daddy, they ever figure out what happened to you? Oh, I know who you are now. Um. They're treating me for seizures. And they think it's um, stress related. Um, I have a lot on my plate. I mean, you know the type of job I have. What I'm supposed to be doing. Well, I get other things that are not really in my title description that I get piled on me that I have to do um, in addition to that. And it gets sometimes to where everything hits at one time and I've got too much going on at one time, too many deadlines. And uh, they think it just kind of, my brain just kind of shut down and caused the type of seizure that, not the type where you fall on the floor or anything, but like the, just zoned out there, but I'm not there type of deal. And, uh, but ever since I've been on this seizure medicine, it's gotten a lot better. Like I'm a lot sharper. I was having to think about things really hard. The simplest things, like I just couldn't focus either. But a couple of times were real bad. I spent some nights in the hospital. There's about a five minute period there. I don't remember. For at, at least a five minute. But a uh, couple of other people I know that that's been happening to too. And I'm not ruling out that it's COVID or something with the COVID shots. Because they said it's odd that someone my age develop seizures all of a sudden when we hadn't had them in our whole life. And my son had never had one until after COVID or the COVID shot. So... Who knows what they injected us with? <laughs> Clorox, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> but I got to go to UK and spend a weekend. They actually, they scheduled me for like in August. And I was like, oh, okay. Hopefully I'll live long enough. I'll live till August and we can figure out what it is. Just kind of sarcastically to the, <laughs> the person that's, and he was like, well, you, you won't have to wait till August. He said, uh, we'll put you on the waiting list and somebody will cancel. He said, that's what always happens. And it should be here within the next two or three weeks. Well, they called and wanted me to, uh, to go this Friday and it's Easter weekend. And that's, you know, my wife was like, well, that's why they canceled because it's Easter weekend. You know, <laughs> I don't want to go Easter weekend, but to be hooked up to one of those EEGs where they are supposed to try to simulate stress somehow and see if I don't have an episode and study my brain waves. And they said it probably deprived me of sleep. 
The good thing about it, if I did do it this weekend, though, would be I'd have all the NCAA tournament games I could at least watch on TV and have something to watch at least. But I'm not going to go on Easter weekend. I think the eel have quit biting, guys, because it's 614, so that's nighttime is like 1900 to 6. And so these are a nighttime fish. Yeah, night owl. More active at night. So I think that's why they've quit biting. But I do want to try those two, those last two spots. We caught plenty of eel right here where my boat is. But they were all silvers. But I do want to try that spot and I want to try this spot next stream. So. Anyway, I got to work in the morning. So, do we have anybody on Twitch right now that I could raid? Do what, Dad? What's that? I thought I thought you said something. Oh no! I was just about to tell everybody good night. Oh yeah. Uh. All right, we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Tipsy. Um, not family friendly, but is friendly <laughs> to his family. <laughs> so it is late night. So viewer discretion is advised. Funny as he can be, and he has the voice of an angel. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, mature content coming up. We're going to raid tipsy here. He is another partnered content creator. Y'all know Tipsy. Um, and he may be a little tipsy at this time. So, <laughs> Most likely. Yeah. You guys have an <laughs> awesome night. I will be back on tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Wednesday? I'll be back on tomorrow, probably around five or six or something. I think we're going to try to go get our taxes done tomorrow evening. So normally I start around 430, but I think we got to get our taxes done tomorrow. So... I'll be a little bit later. I may start after dinner tomorrow. It could be six, seven o'clock, but we'll we'll stream tomorrow evening. Um, you guys have an awesome night, and we will catch you tomorrow. All right, Darth. Have a good one. Later, bud. <laughs>